When you put this surge suppressor where the problem is, you took care of it. So when we put our surge suppressor in, called the snubber circuit, and we rerun this experiment, people are gonna sit there and say, click, 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 it's not working. Click, 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 it's not working, I can't capture anything. And the reason for that is, once you have 120 volt input, they're thinking residential, they're thinking 100, you wanna use this like 120 volt circuit, right? Yeah. Most people are not gonna use a 460 volt motor. They're going to use a 115 volt motor or more important, a 233 phase motor to save that energy. You measure voltage between 12 and 3, and it's the 12 volts. Is that a legitimate 12 volts? Can I go light up a 12 volt light with that? No, because what is that? That's the measurement I told you never to take, which is across the switch. Now I want you to take it across the switch because it's telling me what? The voltage of the circuit. Picking up on things I haven't didn't know about. It's I've seen every day. Troubleshooting workshops are great. Um, a lot of hands-on activity. The meters are awesome. Um, it definitely needs to be more than a, a one-day class. Though. There's so much information he's willing to give us. We need to take advantage of it. Just the different settings on the meters and, and how you can use them to troubleshoot different objects, different, you know, your motors, your receptacles, your um, resistors, stuff like that. If they are truly passionate about their job, I say yes. <laughs>